All right, so we're gonna do a video while I'm trying to go to bed. I'm on the floor. I got my blanket. I got my pillow right here. It's a, it's a heater. And just you know, this is how we this is how we sleep, guys. No bed because beds take up a lot of space. Anyways, so my friend just called me. He told me uh, he 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 just got a vasectomy. So I'm proud of you, bro. He got a vasectomy, and uh, he was calling me because he was freaking out. He was like, Henry, I got a little bit of purple on my nuts. And I'm like, hmm. He's like, did you ever get, see any purple on yours when you got your vasectomy? I'm like, uh, I don't, don't, I don't recall. Um, you know, for me, it, my, my nuts are brown, so it's like I didn't really see any discoloration. Maybe there was, maybe there wasn't. But, um, you know, it's been a week since he got his, so it's like, he just needs, it says, in two, it says on like the websites or t in two weeks, any discoloration or swelling or, or bruising should be, should be good. So, you know, he, he just needs to wait one more week, but I'm proud of him that he got one so he can inspire the rest. Anyway, so I've been vegan for like eight years. The first, I first went vegan because of my sister. My sister went vegan. I remember, I was like, "What's what's vegan? What's a vegan diet?" She's like, "Yeah, you pretty much don't eat animal products." So I was like, "Oh, cool." So she she did that, and I remember one day that we were, it was Thanksgiving here in America. And our landlord, at the time, a different landlord, he um. He 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 brought us some some Thanksgiving food like turkey, mashed potatoes, the good stuff. And my sister's like, I, I can't eat that. And I was like, I was like, can't you just break your diet for one day and and enjoy it? <laughs> That's the thing is like, I thought a vegan diet was like that, just that a diet, like any other diet. You can just cheat and then go back on it. But you know, now I know that a vegan diet is like. A lifestyle it's you know you don't <clears throat> you don't just break it but anyways uh, she ended up eating tur the turkey I was like just eat it you know enjoy it and then go back being vegan the next day <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> I made her break her vegan and then uh, and then I remember back then I was always feeling ill I had digestive issues constipation uh just not not a lot of energy i mean i had i was young so i still had some energy a lot of good energy because i remember riding my bike from work uh into, into this place it was like 20 miles or something or which is like 40 kilometers so anyways um so then so i was always like kind of sick i remember i had really bad burping where I had so much gas in my stomach, and then I'd be like, Brrr. it was so bad. I remember driving a car one day, and uh, I had the window down, and I would burp so much. Brrr. And then my this kid was had his window down like next to me, and he looked at me like, whoa. And I could hear him say it. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so anyways, um... And then, uh, so then I went vegan because I was like, oh, it sounds like, you know, you're forced to eat healthy because you can't eat animal products. So what else can you eat but plants? So I was like, so like, you know, I, I love sandwiches. Maybe I could put guacamole and like plants and, you know, and soup, like ramen soup or something. P -p Pasta with without meatballs. So I went vegan. And we were such noobs back then. Like, we didn't really know what the heck we can or can't do, really. Um, I remember we would, like, buy food that wasn't vegan. Like, for example, maybe, like, let's pretend like a ramen soup. But everything of it, everything about it was vegan except for, like, a hard-boiled egg that they put in the middle. So then we'd be like, let's just take out the hard-boiled egg and eat the, eat the soup. It's we're, we're still eating vegan. But then we learned, like, 
being vegan means not supporting animal, the animal industry. So by us take just ordering the that soup with an egg, we were still supporting the the industry, but we weren't eating it. So we learned from that mistake. Um, but then we started eating like a bunch of processed foods. Um, you know, vegan burgers, vegan sandwich, vegan patties, vegan nuggets, vegan ice cream, vegan whatever, junk food. Um, she, and I didn't feel great. Um, like, still had low energy and anxiety and stuff like that. Felt depressed a lot. Um, but then I found Durian Ryder, and then I, he was he showed me the different side. Uh, pretty much eating like whole plant based foods like rice, avocados, you know, um, fruit. <laughs> And and then uh, from there I improved. Um, definitely, I remember people would ask me a lot. Oh, so do you find that you have more energy on a vegan diet? Blah blah blah. And you know, I I never knew what to tell them. Sometimes I would be like, Yeah, you know, I feel better, but now I would like maybe one percent better. But um, but now it's night and day. I feel way different. Like. Uh, I'm not tempted by meat anymore. I mean, I can say that it looks good because sometimes I'm hungry. Sometimes it smells good because I'm hungry. I only eat rice and maybe some beans, some potatoes and fruit. I don't really cook uh, anything special. So, you know, when I see something like that was cooked and smells good, you know, and it, it's got meat, I'm like, damn, that looks good. Because I eat boring stuff. So, um... But yeah, I feel way better. Um, and so I've been vegan like eight years now. I think. Eight years, maybe more. I don't know. About the same time I started my YouTube channel. But, um, so I don't know how long that's been. But yeah, vegan. You know, my channel is Henry's Vegan. Before I used to preach about people to go vegan. Now I don't. I'm like, people have the information. If they want to go vegan, there's so much out there. So it's like, I don't really have to push it. I mean, if I want to piss people off or something, I'll I'll be like, yeah, you should go vegan. Uh, but usually I joke with my friends. I'm like, bro, I mean, not even, I don't even tell my friends to go vegan anymore. They know what they're doing. So it's like, I don't want, I don't waste my energy arguing with people about it. I used to. I mean, if anyone asks me a question, you know, that's on them. Like, they just opened up a can of worms. I'm about to, like, unload on their ass, but... Yeah, it's, uh, um, you know, especially sugar, you know, if, if you're part of the high-carb crew, the high-carb, low-fat vegan crew, you know what's up. Uh, so, that's another thing, too. Being vegan and then being on the sugar, it's it's pretty funny. People are like, he, he went vegan, which is good, but now he's eating sugar, which cancels out the vegan. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's it. Time to go to bed. Get some sleep. Uh, sleep is like steroids. You know, if you're a guy, sleep is like steroids. Go to sleep early. If you're a woman, I don't know what sleep... What, you know... It It's for your, be for your beauty sleep. Get some beauty sleep. <laughs> Anyways, that's it.